Yeah, Marche Shapers. Okay, so the founder of our company, which is General Tires, is William O'Neill. William O'Neill started his company in Akron, Ohio because he got laid off from Firestone when he lived in Kansas City, Missouri. So he got moved back to Ohio to start a company, and the way that he started it was um, because his father, Michael O'Neill, lived in Ohio and he owned a department store. So Mike, William O'Neill got a loan from Michael O'Neill to start General Tires, so that's why he was founded in Akron. Now the company's main focus was not to sell original equipment. They focused on selling premium replacement tires and pneumatic trucks and stuff like that. General Tire expanded to Ford, Chevrolet, Mercedes Benz, Nissan, Toyota, you know, businesses like that, famous ones. Okay, the company faring ec economically, the struggles in the beginning of General Tires was to improve the tires as the time went on and they faced critical tire sh shortage, which means they ran out of tires. Um, successful from tires in the company's history. Uh, 1974, they declined in tires. Businesses divided by the oil embargo, which means the foreigners in other countries stopped the U.S. from getting um, oil. 1931, the Great, the Great Depression brought companies success, and General Tires brought out four companies during the Great Depression. Okay. Unions, unions were basically created because the Industrial Revolution for better working rights for the members of General Tires. Okay, so we have went to O'Neill's house where the founder used to live, and there's an um, older lady named Gail, and she's going to explain the background of the O'Neill's house, and then she's going to give us a tour of O'Neill's house. So, okay, so first we need you to state your name and what your position is here in O'Neill House. Okay, I'm Gail Johnson. I'm the owner of O'Neill House. Okay, so are you like related to him or something? No, uh -uh. I just bought the house and restored it and and opened it as a bed and breakfast. Okay, so what like defines the O'Neill House? Like, is this a museum or what can you do when you come in here? It's a it's an overnight accommodations. Okay, all right. So when was this building built? If you do you know, it was built in 1923. It was designed by Mead and Hamilton architectural firm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you know why they decided to build this building or anything? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Okay. Um, who all lived in O'Neill House? Like when he was like when William O'Neill was living here? He had uh, six children, five boys and a girl, and that this is where they all grew up. Mm -hmm. Okay, around what year did you buy this house? I bought it over 20 years ago. Okay, before you bought do you know who owned it? No. Okay, so none of his children inherited this house? No. Is any of them living? No, they're okay. all passed away. <laughs> okay. And, um, okay, so, William O'Neill, like, you know that he owned General Tires. Mm hmm I was wondering, do you know where the factory used to be at or anything? It was over in East Akron. It has been torn down. I think it's been probably uh, more than 10 years ago that the factory was completely torn down. Okay, so I I have found out that the old factory was on the street, on General Street, okay. as I heard. So do you know where that's at because it no longer exists? Um. Let's see, I, I know that, that it was an exit off of 76 going east. Um, I don't know the names. It was, I think, before you, you got to Britain Road. Okay. All right. That's approximately where it was. Okay. So, you know, nowadays they, a lot of companies sponsor things. So does General Tire sponsor this house or anything? No. They have nothing okay. to do with it. The O'Neill's don't. Nothing at all? No. Okay. So, when you bought this house, like, what mindset was you in? Like, you, did you think that I was just going to live here, or I'm just about to turn to bed and breakfast or something? Oh, it was a fabulous house. I, I wanted to restore it, and then I decided to open it as a bed and breakfast. Okay, that's nice. Um, well, that's most of all the questions I have now, but um, um, I got a question. Are we allowed to tour the house? 
I can take you around. I don't have everything cleaned up because I'm getting ready to do Christmas decorations. <laughs> We're working on them right now. That's awesome. Okay. okay. This is William O'Neill. All right, there you go. That's all I have. This was the main eating area of the house. The uh, family never went into the kitchen. The kitchen was for servants only, and so they had all of their meals in here. This is where my guests had breakfast in the morning, and it was just a little morning room. Okay. Does more than like one guest um, stay here? Mm hmm. Like, do more than one guest stay here? Um, yeah, I have four guest rooms, and I have people every day. So, like, how do they reserve, like, to make res reservations to stay here? They have to call and make a reservation when they talk with me. I don't do reservations online. Mm -hmm. So about how much does that cost? The guest rooms are $130, 150 or 190 a night. Okay. The one thing that makes the house really special is the paneling here in the foyer. The paneling was all hand carved and each one of the decorative panels is different. No two are exactly alike. Then they go all the way around the room and up the steps. Oh, never know that. I thought each one would be the same. <laughs> the, the room we were just sitting in is the library. That was Mr. O'Neill's room. It's all basically a study. Uh huh. And this was the main living room of the house. All of the paneling in all three of these rooms is uh, red oak. And this was the garden room. And this is where Mrs. O'Neill raised plants and did her writing and had all of her books and things about flowers. So she was an um, author? Uh, she wrote, yeah, she wrote about uh, flowers. Mm -hmm. This is really nice. Really nice. Oops, excuse me, sorry. Furnishings are original to the house. Everything is things that I have put in. And when I bought the house, it was completely empty. Was was the house expensive at the time when you bought it? Uh, fairly expensive, yeah. <laughs> but uh, nothing like what prices are today for houses. This is one of the guest rooms, and it has a full bath over on that side. Wherever possible, I kept all of the old fixtures. Oh, this is nice. Very nice stuff. Um, do you know whose room this was? Uh, this was the guest room in the house. Mm. And it has the living room over here. I like the decorations and all. This room was originally the nursery and the last child born to the O'Neills was Grace, and she was the only girl. And she told me that instead of moving to uh, the children's room, she ended up staying here, and uh, the room just grew up with her. And it has a full bath over on this side. Okay. This 
is the living room to the master bedroom. dressing room and then it has a really outrageous bathroom. Oh my original goodness. original to 1932. This is really nice. I've, I've always wanted to see one of these things. Yep, that's a bidet. Oh, wow. And then the bedroom is back here. I'm assuming this is your room. It's too nice to be anybody else. No, else's. it's a guest room. Wow. So you stay here too? I live here. Mm -hmm. So you're not bothered when other people stay with you, strangers? Nope. Nope, not at all. Now these pictures. Um, Hers. All the pictures that are around, except for ones I will show you, are pictures of my family. Mm. I don't have uh, a collection of, a large collection of pictures of the O'Neills. Mm -hmm. Most of it, everything in the rooms belongs to my family. These are pictures of the O'Neills. This is Mr. O'Neill, and then these are the children. And this is Mr. and Mrs. O'Neill again. <laughs> and this is their grandfather, Michael O'Neill. Michael, I've learned a lot about him. They don't have a lot of history on William O'Neill. There's a book called The Whale of a Territory that w it was written about Mr. O'Neill. Okay. And the rooms down here were the servants' quarters. This was the nanny's room. Had a little living room here, a full bath. Now, here. is this your family or O'Neill's family? Uh, no, those are those are people I know. Oh, okay. Okay, them are nice. Those are not O'Neill's. And then this room was the maid's room, and this one was the chauffeur's room. Hmm. The man that drives around. He drives around a luxury though. <laughs> lights off. Okay, and those are the public areas of the house. This little room was originally the sewing room. Excuse me. 